All right, the album is almost here, but today we have the title track, so let's just get right into it. Okay, let's turn off a solid bass hook. Kind of cool. Feels like something off of Load. Like that. Little punctuated cymbal and drum hits. Kind of like a Motorhead bass line. Cool start. Now this actually reminds me of something off of Hardwired. Got me bobbing my head. I'll give it that. <laughs> this song feels like it has like five intros though. Okay. I like this so far. I say so far out of all the singles, I've enjoyed this one the most without getting to a point that I don't like yet. We'll we'll see how that holds. Okay, this is fun. A little hypnotic. Good pace changes. Songwriting is pretty solid. Good energy, production solid. Yeah, I'm back into that kind of thrashy riff. Okay, we got some solo. Basically just following the main melody. That almost felt like it didn't need to be there, but it's fine. <laughs> I will say also, out of all the singles, although this one might have issues with length again, looking at that runtime, uh, this one feels the most like something I would have heard on the radio from them, too. Like an actual radio single going back to... Like their 90s era stuff, like mid mid to late 90s. Again, thinking like Load Reload or stuff like the I Disappear single, which is funny because in the other videos I've been saying I would settle for an I Disappear. <laughs> and this, this feels kind of in that realm. I do like this riff a lot. It's very earworm. And I like that pace change there. Ooh, another fun little change there, keeping me on my toes. Just when things might have gotten stale. More little punctuated drum hits with the guitars. Yeah, this is fun. So far, so good, still. I love those little stops. Great dynamics on this track. All right, we got a real solo now. Okay, cooking it up. Maybe a little longer than it needs to be for what it is, this solo. Back into it. I feel like this song maybe could have ended there. At least we get this one more time. <laughs> I feel like we could have gone straight into this from the solo. Okay. Sick. So that was Metallica with the title track, 72 Seasons, from the album coming out in just about two weeks now, which is crazy to think about. And... I, I really liked it. I liked it a lot more than I would have expected. I know all the people who watch this channel, like, oh, how dare he say anything negative about Metallica? He just, like, is hating for views. No, I just didn't really like those songs. I think this song, though, is, like, leaps and bounds above any of the other three, by far. Um, I enjoyed uh, If Darkness Had a Son, to an extent, I do think, uh, let's just get in the scale. So enjoyability, I give this thing like a, a solid nine. I could almost give it a, a 10 for just the enjoyment factor. I was bobbing my head the whole way through. It's fun. It's got great energy. It's catchy. It's infectious. Again, like I said, it's a great radio single. I think it's up there with some of their best radio singles. So Great job on that front. Songwriting, like I've been saying throughout the video, I think the dynamics are great. The just overall composition is awesome. Great pace changes. Love how the band is really all working together with those little punctuated drum hits with the guitars and the little breaks and then things will get low and they'll get back up again. Uh, fantastic. Fantastic work. I think the only issue, again, I think we didn't need that last verse I think we could have cut that. I think we could cut down the intro a little bit more. 
cut a, cut a solid like minute out of the track, edit it down just a little bit, and I think it would be like potentially like A plus rock and roll song. Uh, so very good on that front. I'd, I'd give it like a solid nine for songwriting too. And in terms of innovation, you know, it's it's still your pretty standard Metallica song. Like they're they're not shaking things up, changing the rule book in any way in terms of both their own catalog and just rock music and thrash music in general. So for that, I'd give it just like a seven. But yeah, I mean, averaging that all out, nine, nine, seven, I mean, I'm... I'm looking at, I don't know, I, I'm leaning more towards B plus A minus overall for this. Like, really great stuff, and it actually makes me a little bit more interested to hear the whole album. So, good good work. Good work. <laughs> what, what else can I say? Let me know down in the comments, what do you think about this track? Check out this video for our current rankings of all of the Metallica albums. I will be updating it when the new one drops, probably on release day. You can also check out this playlist for plenty of thrash metal rankings, but I think that'll do it for now. Flight of Icarus signing off, and I will see you in the trenches.